Hi, this is Rich from New School Piano. Hey, we're gonna do one that was just a request by actually a couple of people. One of them is Sarah and the other one is Cass. All right, here we go. This one is uh, Fleetwood Mac, Hold Me. It goes something like this. Here we go, we're gonna break this down. It's basically two parts. The first part is the intro and what also I believe plays in the verse, although she could just be playing chords, but here we go. And then I go down an octave. this basically is, is A minor to G, A minor to G, and then D, G, D, G, D. Let's talk about that. A minor is A, C, E, G, G, B, D. Let's talk about inversions. I've actually been hearing that from some of the subscribers. They don't understand what I'm talking about inversions. Inversions are nothing more than, you take a chord, which is a G chord like that, G, B, C. By the way, the very quick way to learn every major chord, I'm gonna show you my secret. You count three in between, and you count two in between, and there's every major chord. I'll show you. There's C chord. Look, the not played notes, non-played. There's three in between the two notes, and then there's two in between these notes. Musically, this is called a first, a third, and a fifth. I think of it as, okay, first to third, well, three, like a third. Four, five is the fifth. Okay, so here we are with G, A minor. A minor is different, by the way, because it's a minor chord. A major would have three in between, two in between. It would follow that same formula. Look for another video. I'm gonna do a whole video on that someday. Okay, for this song, we're gonna go A minor, G, A minor, G, and then he's gonna bop from D to a G inverted. What is an inversion? Here's a G chord from low to high. Low on a piano is to the left, high is to the right. Low to high, G, B, D. But he's playing it over here. Same three notes, G, B, and D, except the D was put down here. So when he's doing that part, D, so it's a D normal position, root position, to a G inverted. Again, the same three notes, just the order of them is switched around. So here we go. Here's that part. Okay, that's the left hand. Right hand. Let me see. Okay, so you go. So the first chord you hit is, which is E, G, D. So watch. Watch my fingers. So it's D, C, B, A, or with this. So watch, you play these three together and then you run down. The 
second one is so watch it again with both hands by the way with the left hand I'm just kind of doing two note chords because I'm using my right hand to play that chord I could do I like playing it this way Again, watch it slowly. Together. So in reality, with my left hand, I'm just using A and C and G and B. Instead of playing the whole chord, I'm leaving this off and letting my right hand do it. So. And then it goes down to. So it's D to G. And I'm doing the same thing basically with my left and right hands. So that's D chord again to a G inverted. Here's the whole thing. And then I just move it all down one octave and do the same exact thing. Okay, rewind. Go back, by the way, there's three dots on the YouTube video screen that you can slow the speed down and follow along if it's going too fast for you. By the way, let me take a moment and thank Yamaha and thank Focusrite and JBL for everything that I do with them, all their products or what you're listening to. Also, please subscribe to my channel. That really means a lot to me. I appreciate it. I've got almost, at this moment, about 5,000 subscribers, which is really great. All right, final part is... G, A minor 7th, G, C, D. That's the call me, call me, call me. Alright, simply put, it's a G chord. And I play it inverted, but you could play it normal. There's a G chord. To an A minor 7th. Which really is an A minor chord, we're just adding that G, it just sounds better. So chord one. Chord two. Now you're going to run up to a G inverted. We talked about inversions, which is, there's the next G chord. Instead of the G being down here, we're going to put the G up there. It's all it is. It's not difficult. There's a G. That's a G. They're both Gs. There's even another one. And when you see me playing, I'm usually jumping around like that. But here we go. Chord one. Chord two. Chord three, the G inverted. With a B bass. Chord four, with a C. To that D bop, to the D G thing. For a second, you'll see me jumping around, going and doing inversions and stuff like that. That comes at a later time when you have a better control of how to play chords. But for most basic, again, here we go. One, two, ready, go.
thanks for watching. Thanks to Sarah, my newest subscriber. Thanks to Cass, who's on TikTok, uh, TikTok excuse me, uh, and does all kinds of Stevie Nicks videos. Uh, this is for both of them and for all of you. Thanks again. Have a great day and have fun practicing.